Welcome to the sixth and last video of the World Weaver tutorials. This last part has less to do with the World Weaver itself and is more about using the images created with it to make high quality videos. Since we're making a video from a static image, we won't prompt for changing the clothing or the background. We can still use the character selector node paired with the master key to reinforce the character's look. Any action you would want to happen in the final video will then have to be put in the text concatenate node. The image to video method is faster and in my opinion, often creates higher quality videos compared to text to video. Of course, the quality of the video is dependent of the quality of the input image. But when you want character consistency, image to video is my preferred method. I'm using the regular 1 2.2 image to video workflow here and have only added the character select node, the master key and the Gemini API node. For my system, I use 544 by 768 pixels for the dimension of the video and 97 frames for the length. At 16 frames per second, this will create a six second video. You will have to adjust this according to the specifications on your computer. For reference, I have a NVIDIA 5060 Ti with 16 GB VRAM and 64 GB system RAM. Our video is almost done and we will soon see a high quality and stable video of Captain Linda. What do you think of the World Weaver system? Is this something you want to use in your workflows? Let me know in the comments. Link to the dedicated repository of the World Weaver can be found in the description of this video. And here she is, Captain Linda of the Seven Seas. This time based of an input image created in the World Weaver. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want more videos like this, or if you have any other requests or suggestions for videos, subscribe to the channel and leave a comment.